Uh, ready, set, go. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk about a couple of things you're gonna need. Um, th this project in particular is actually designed to be used in uh, a school that I teach in where we are a Google school and a Chromebook school. So all the tools can be done with a Google kind of, uh, Google apps kind of stuff. So if you have one of those accounts, a Google account or a Google uh, apps or suite account, um, then this is really for you. And what we really need is a Google Doc so you can share your story. The thing you're going to start off with first is write a story that uh, talks that has you know choices in it, things that you can uh, get to a point and decide whether the story goes to the right or to the left, or if they you know go down one path or another. So you need to kind of have that in mind, uh, and an outline of the story is fine too. But really, uh, once you have that story down, the drawing and the flowchart part of the story works much better. So once we do that. It's really clear where the story, whether the story works or not, because then you can see how many different choices you have. The uh, the minimum amount that we want to see for this is 12 different choices. So you're choosing your story um, sometimes is a process in and of itself. And then lastly, we're going to use a uh, a website called Trinket.io. It's a wonderful site that allows you to uh, be able to put to type in code, Python code directly, and then run it in the browser. And uh, traditionally, Python was one of those ones where you had to kind of like download Python and then run it locally. And on a Chromebook, you can't do that uh, because you're really just always in the browser. Uh, but not only does it let you run it in the browser, it also lets you embed it in pages and stuff. So that's how you're going to share your work. So these are the three different things you're going to need. And I'm going to show you a couple quick things to do with each of them. 